It's been a long time coming. <laughs> hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to It Is The Night That The Heiress Tour Comes Home. Literally, I can watch it in my own home so it went from being live, it still is live, so many dates left, so many opportunities for people to see Taylor on this tour, but then it went in theaters and now it's coming home. It was on rent for a while and um, I didn't ever rent it um, because it was like, I think $20 to rent it for 48 hours. So I said, no, thank you. Um, I decided to be, I wait patiently. And now it's gonna be on Disney Plus tonight and I am so excited. So I thought I'd vlog the occasion because we're definitely making an event. Anything that Taylor does, we're making an event. So. What have I done, you may ask. I came home, I took a power nap. I said, I need a little nap. Um, so it comes out at nine my time, and it's three and a half hours. And so everybody's like, is something gonna happen at midnight? You know, because why would it be coming out at like nine Eastern Standard Time instead of midnight? Anyways, if I'm not mistaken, I think I recall this happening for Miss Americana too. Actually, I remember waking up for Miss Americana, so maybe I'm thinking wrong. But anyways, um, I'm so excited. Um, regardless, I am so excited, so I thought I'd vlog. I came home, like I said, I took a nap, and then I went on my evening walk because let me tell you, it is beautiful outside. Like, it has been in the upper 70s, low 80s all week but it is gorgeous out, so I went and took my walk, and now I'm back, and I walked through the door, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna start vlogging. So, it is 7.06 right now, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and get in the shower, and then I'm gonna go ahead and eat some dinner, and I'm just so excited. This is gonna be so much fun to like, watch it with you guys, and like, be able to like, commentate, you know, or say things here and there while I'm watching it. My computer just absolutely spazzed out. Did you hear that? Um, but anyways, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and shower and then uh, we'll get in some Eras attire. I don't know what I'm gonna wear to watch it at home. That's to be determined. Let me just say, when you're working out, there is something about wearing rep merch that makes me feel unstoppable. The other night I went and I went to the gym and I had on my green um, rep tour tee with a snake and a snake down the back. And let me tell you, I felt powerful, if you will. I have no muscles. Don't, well, I mean, I have muscles, but like, you know. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go shower. Okay, this is the attire that I picked out. Um, so somebody said earlier, they were like, doesn't it feel like the Eras Tour merch is your wedding dress. What they meant by that is, doesn't it feel like you shouldn't wear it all the time? Yes, it does. Because, you know, you think about how long you like stood in a line, like how hard it was to get, like, and plus all the Eras Tour merch and all the merch in general is down on Taylor's site right now. So it's like, you can't just order it and stuff is up price. So it's like, should you wear it all the time? Well. And so like, I kind of feel that way. Anyways, so I knew I was gonna be having some like snacks and stuff tonight, so I didn't, I didn't put on my Eras Tour merch. However, I put on my Swifty shirt and um, the bracelet that I have on right now, so this one uh, I have not taken off since Emma gave it to me for Christmas. So it's been on my wrist all year. Has not come off, because we celebrated on New Year's weekend. Um, it means friends are like star, best friends are like stars. You can't see them all the time, but they're always there. Like, I will sob. Anyways, and then I made this bracelet and it has all of Taylor's little eras, like debut, fearless, speak now, uh, red, 1989, reputation, lover, a little tiny mirror ball for folklore, evermore, a star for midnights and then 
a little white heart for Tortured Poets because Tortured Poets is soon to be part of the family. Artie is part of the family, but like officially joining very soon. And I'm so excited. But I did get out my Eras Tour cup and I got out my pink popcorn bucket because I'm gonna go ahead and put some snacks in that. I got distracted because I unloaded the dishwasher and um, I was putting like my clothes in the dryer and all that, hanging stuff up. And it, Natalie and I were on the phone just yapping about Taylor because like, why wouldn't we? But um, so I got sidetracked and I have not eaten dinner yet. So I need to do that. <laughs> and it comes out in half an hour and I think I'm just gonna proof my video for Sunday. It's edited, I just need to proof it. And I've decided for every single era so I'm gonna put out all my friendship bracelet making stuff and for every single era, I'm gonna make a bracelet tonight. So during the lover era, I'll make a lover bracelet. During folklore, I'll make a folklore bracelet. Like, I don't know, it sounds fun. So that's, that's what came up in my little head. So I'm gonna make some dinner real fast and then I will talk to you guys. It's half an hour away. I should probably stop yapping and just like do my stuff, but you guys know me, I'm a yapper. <laughs> Hence why I'm in this predicament. Okay, dinner has been had. I am partially through that video that I uh, need to prove for you guys, but I've been also getting ready and I've pulled out all my bracelet making stuff. I'm so excited. It is now 11 minutes away that we go back to the Eras tour. <laughs> like, oh my God, I'm so excited to just like watch it and make bracelets while watching it and I just thought about getting to see Long Live in high definition from the Eras Tour uh, because I, I did not rent it. So um, I wanted to show you guys my snacks. Okay, so um, I've got, these are the best things. London Fog Milano cookies. They're chocolate and they're like a little, just like they're so, I've had these for two days and the bag's almost gone. I cannot lie, like they are now my guilty pleasure. Like if you love like vanilla and like Earl Grey tea, like you would love this. And like the Earl Grey tea is not strong at all. Like this is heaven. Oh my God. Um, also, I put Cheetos in here. These I bought for Bobby. Um, she's spending a couple days with her parents and then she's coming back to spend the weekend with me. So I did buy these for her, so Bobby, I'm so sorry if these have disappeared by the time we get back, we'll go get some more. And then I also put a little clementine in here, and uh, yeah, so, and my kitchen's right in here, so if I need any snacks, but these are the ones I am hauling over to the couch, but honestly, I think I'm gonna watch the majority of it from my table so I can make bracelets, but regardless, I'm so excited. I made so many amazing memories on the Eras tour. And every time I watch this tour, like it just absolutely amazes me. And I find new things to love about it. Like I could see it a million times and I would just find something new that I absolutely adore about it every single time. And that's how I feel about Taylor too. Like I've loved her since I was eight and every single day I'm like, you know what? Like I love this about her. I love this about her. Like th the love never stops. The love never stops. So anyways, you guys, I am so excited. And um, Taylor Nation's like doing like a, a watch party. And so it's just like, I love the Swifty community so much. So I'm so happy that I'm vlogging because this is a really fun night. I have quite the uh, bracelet bead collection going. Uh, like I have a whole basket these are the most amazing spacers. I found these at Hobby Lobby not too long ago. Um, but there's like rose gold, like an antique gold, um, and then like silver, and just like a classic gold. Um, and then also Hobby Lobby has these craft organizers. And I got this with Emma and it has come so in handy. These are gorgeous. Like I think I find my best bracelets at Hobby Lobby or my best beads. Um, Amazon. Uh, this was at Marshall's last year. And I'm pretty sure I got this even more on a discount. I think I found it like after Valentine's Day. And then I have like butterflies. Like we're, we're ready. We're, we're ready for it, if you will. People are saying it's out. 
well, let's go to Disney Plus. Um, I will be genuinely, I mean, sometimes things drop like a couple minutes early. That's not really shocking. Um, however, I will be thoroughly impressed if Disney Plus doesn't like crash because of all the traffic. Uh, this lighting's interesting, but, um, okay. Why is my heart racing? Oh my gosh. Well, it's Taylor, of course. I uh, new to Disney Plus. It's not on the main page, and I kind of thought it would be. There it is. Play. Wait, 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 wait! Exclusive access to merchandise. I'm sorry, I clicked so fast. Hold on, hold on. Enjoy special access to select merchandise. Click the shop tab. What? 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 I'm sorry. We're going there first. In your shopping era? What? Oh, she's got merch up. Okay, we're gonna start it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Volume 13. <laughs> the clock will always get me. Getting to know that I can watch this anytime I want now. I was born in 1989. It's been a long time coming back. It's you and me. It's my home world. Does anyone here know the lyrics to this bridge? Perfect. Put in the work. They wouldn't shake their heads and question how much of this I deserve. Why did I think that I was gonna sit down? Like, that's my question. I'm like, just standing happily. <laughs> this is insane. Guys, I didn't realize I was gonna be doing cardio again. era at a time amazing queen i will sit here i'm gonna take a little break and drink my water but i don't know why why in tarnation i thought that i was gonna be sitting just making bracelets rachel no this is the era's tour um i gotta make a lover bracelet she's already on lover so i better hurry it up to meet my goal the goal i created myself what am i making um Fearless leader. Fearless leader. That's adorable. I'm gonna sob to love her now. Thank you. Okay, progress has been made. Now I'm very curious to see if she if it shows the archer here or if it's at the end like it was when you could rent it. Oh, it's here. Oh, they added it in the right spot. Yes, yes. Oh. Oh, that makes me so happy because the the transition into fearless. Thank you. I said this before, but seeing the names of the albums on the screen, God, it does something to my heart every time. Fearless Leader. And for the Fearless era, we have Little Did I Know, because Love Story is the song that began this whole journey for me. So we have the Fearless Bracelet. Because I'm trying to like make bracelets that are like sentimental to me if that makes sense, like through the eras. Um, so I'm making one right now for Evermore that says real thing instead because Evermore came out when I uh, lost friendship. I thought I was gonna have forever. And uh, when she released it, she said Evermore is, folklore was trying to make it work. Evermore was letting it go. So, um, real thing instead sounds like a really cute brace. Can we just take a moment? Can I just say that I think Tolerate It is one of the absolute best performances of the tour. Like, the theatrics of it. Like, oh my god. The Evermore set is just so, it's so insanely good. Not like that the whole entire show isn't. But there is just something about that Evermore set that just hits. Reputation is forever her most iconic album. Fight with the wall because I will not be listening to any other comments. 
I'm about to spill these beads. I better put these down. Guys, I'm sitting here like, how are we already on folklore? Like, I'm literally bamboozled. Whenever I watch this or like, you know, it just goes by so quick, like three and a half hours, like who? Like where? I'm not so sure where the time goes when the Eras Tour is on. Um, but I can tell you, I am having a blast. Um, I've made a bracelet for every single era um, thus far, and I am on folklore right now, and I'm gonna make a try, try, try bracelet. I'm running out of like the white, uh, like crystal looking ones, and that is a travesty because they are now my favorite. Like those, they're so gorgeous. So I'm trying to scour up as many as I can because they are so pretty. Oh no, 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 no. I always have to like, like, look at that. Picasso, oh Lord. Picasso, I really like that. Oh, we're cooking, we're, we're cooking here, okay. I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but the 1989 era choreography is just meshed in my brain. On replay, it is on loop. I just, I'm obsessed with it. Like the little, you know, the little movements in blank space and like style, we never go out. Like everything about it, just like itches my brain so well. Here's my era. I fucking love Midnight's, you guys know this. I'm like in the midst of making my midnight bracelet. Trust me, trust me. I will absolutely show you guys all the bracelets. <laughs> oh my god, the, the fuck transition from Lavender Haze to Antihero deserves more appreciation. I have to say where I, oh my god, like I'm so sorry. I am the biggest bitch for midnight. Oh my god, like this album. So put them on TV. I wanted to say I love that it's in order. Like Wildest Dreams is in order, Long Live is in order, Cardigan's in order, The Archer's in order, like thank you. Like I missed seeing The Archer into Fearless, the Fearless transition so bad in theaters. Like that was the one thing I was like, oh my gosh, like I miss this so much, um, but they redeem themselves, and I get that. Like, they can't have everything um, in theaters because I'm sure, that, you know, because it's longer now, um, but just, like, Cardigan just, like, makes sense, you know? Like, it just, it just seeing the whole thing really just, like, it was really special, and I, I love, like, like, thank you. Thank you. Take a bow because that was amazing. <laughs> there is just something so incredibly special to sit and celebrate and dance in my living room and make bracelets. All about the eras that I have celebrated and loved since I was eight years old. Like, guys. It's one of those nights where I just like exceptionally feel so incredibly emotional over Taylor. Like watching those eras, like I could tell you every single era and why it's so important to me, why, you know, it was important to me then and why it's important to me now. And it's just like, I don't know. I just, I love celebrating Taylor and her music has always gotten me through my sunshine and the rain and I just feel so lucky to have such an amazing sense of community. Um, I like, I didn't grow up with a lot of friends but I've made my most genuine friendships because of her. I 
gained a sense of community because of her. I, I've loved to travel and explore new places because of her. I've found myself because of her. I've learned my values because of her music and I know what I'm worth because of her songs. And as dramatic as that may sound, it's so incredibly true. Like, whew, she is just like my guiding light. <laughs> it's the best way I can um, say that and how dare her say you should find another guiding light and, and dear reader because there ain't no damn chance. Like, this woman means so much to me and this tour is so incredibly special because it, it spans her entire career except debut doesn't have a set and I think we should change that but it's just so it's just so special to get her to see her glow and do her thing and I'm so glad that the Eras tour is home because trust me the amount of times I've wanted to like hit play and just like watch um like even like the will like willow or um the transition from Lavender Hazen to Antihero, like, I'm, I don't get why people don't love Midnight's as much, like, listen, Midnight's is perfection, like, I get chills every time I think about it, like, that's just the tea. Um, Fearless is so nostalgic, um, because that is the era that made me a, a fan, and, God, I could just ramble and ramble and ramble, but... I had so much fun and I it did not feel like three hours and 31 minutes like I, that was insanely fast and so I'm gonna show you the bracelets it is oh my god it's midnight right now um I just I'm so curious to see if anything happens at midnight um like I don't know if maybe like her sight. I love Taylor Allison Swift so much. And I'm so thankful for the memories she has made for me. <laughs> so I will never stop loving her and celebrating her is the conclusion. I'm gonna show you guys the bracelets I made and it was so much fun to like come up with one while the air was going on. It was just, it was a blast. I had a damn blast tonight. I did not an ad just facts okay it's friendship bracelet making show and tell so we started off strong with the lover era I made a the man themed one fearless leader and then I made a little did I know sorry for the glare on the uh, the gold beads but it says little did I know because love story was the very first song that I heard by Taylor and it changed my entire being um, then forevermore I made one that said real thing instead and I made this one because evermore truly taught me that it's okay to let go and it is okay to mourn the loss of things but also you should absolutely be celebrated and not just tolerated then we moved on to reputation the iconic era herself and honestly I have to be honest I was so flamboozled just watching um, the, the rep set that this was my brilliant thought. And you know what? It's really cute. It is really adorable. I can't lie. Um, but my brain cell had minimal because that set's so iconic. I was so focused on it. So that was the first one I came up with. <laughs> and then for Speak Now, I did one that says, I'm not afraid because truly, Anybody could tell me, oh my god, she's so obsessed. She's too obsessed with Taylor Swift, and I'm saying, okay, like, I'm gonna be me, and you're not stopping me. Never have. Okay, and then for the red era, I made one that says, kept you like an oath, because that is my favorite lyric from All Too Well 10 Minute Version. Um, like, I just love that. You kept me like a secret, but I kept you like an oath. Like, incredible. Then for folklore, I made one that says, try, try, try. I think this is probably my favorite. I don't know. I love, I love them all. Um, and then for 1989, I made one that says, Taylor's buddy, because I met Taylor during the 1989 era, and she called me her buddy, so I went with that. The only thing I did wrong was I didn't put one of the, like, little gold hearts on this side, 
to match. But anyways, and then for surprise song o'clock, I made one that says you can face this for your on your own kid because that is the anthem of the Eras tour if you ask me. And then for midnights, always rooting. And you know what? We are in fact always rooting for the anti-hero.